Aside from removing regulatory barriers, what specific policy solutions do you support to address the persistent lack of affordable housing in Maui County? And what do you see as the role of county government in solving this crisis? So we've been talking about this since January. Uh, we call this project Kamaina Housing. There are five facets to this. First is an inventory of lands. You know, the comprehensive affordable uh, housing plan that the county has is a starting point. They've identified uh, acres of county and state lands. The question is whether or not they're appropriate. Are they somewhere where we think we'll find burials? Are they, do they have vahipana, sacred places? So doing an inventory is more just than just identifying the ownership. It's identifying the appropriateness of that location. Because those are one of the things that drive prices up is when you got to go through all these uh, steps because you picked an inappropriate place to begin with. So we should know that. We should do it up in advance. And yes, of course, the county should be putting in the infrastructure. Uh, that's what most municipalities do. Uh, put in, the, put in the, the roads, the water, the sewer. Those drive prices down for our local uh, uh, home buyers. Uh, we should also have a requirement that you have a homeowner's exemption in order to buy that house. You qualify for homeowner's exemption if you agree that you will, that will be your primary residence and you will live in the home. I'm, I'm talking to realtors. You folks all know this. Uh, this is what we should do. Now, we may have to have that tough conversation about having a residency requirement before you can buy a home on Maui. We may be at that place right now. Um, that's something we've got to talk about with the community. We also have to have financial literacy for our homeowners to get them in homes and keep them in the homes. Uh, and we have to talk to loan uh, companies about giving us a bulk rate for, for that size of a community. Thank you.